Welcome back. Now, before we talk about game two, game one, it looked like an easy one for the North Stars. Red Lake really didn't seem ready for the action that was brought to them. Yeah, the North Stars were all over Red Lake in that uh, game one, of course. But to be fair to the Miners, they did play game one immediately after making the six-hour journey from Red Lake, which could explain why they fell behind 3-0 in that first period. Whether you buy that excuse or not, there's no arguing that a good night's rest certainly served the Miners well, as the defending Superior League champions looked like a drastically different team on Friday. But would it be enough to avoid a 2-0 series deficit? The Miners had a lot more energy to start Game 2 following their bad start on Thursday, and after their lone goal in Game 1 was scored on the power play, the Miners would get an early opportunity with the man advantage, as Garen Voisley accidentally clips a Miners player in the face with a stick, and that's high sticking. He'd have to serve a double Miner. And Red Lake, well, they'd capitalize, as Quinton Sidaway, who happened to score that power play goal from the Miners in Game 1, pushes it by Connor Lemieux to give the Miners their first lead of the series. Minutes later, the North Stars would get a power play chance of their own, and Nick Campbell rifles it by Jack Osman. His second of the series ties it at one apiece. Minutes later, Miners with an innocent looking rush, but it's Sidaway again who beats Connor Lemieux with a shot from just inside the blue line. Lemieux made 37 saves in game one, but that one eludes him as the Miners are now up two to one. Still in the first, Mason Wesley, who also scored in game one, gets another with a beauty of a post and in shot. That ties it back up at two. And then less than a minute later, Colby Feist beats Jack Osman with a shot from the half wall, and that puts the North Stars up three to two, and that would be the end of Osman's night as he's replaced by Trent Borischuk. The goals would continue two minutes into the second, Red Lake this time on the attack. Lemieux stops the shot from the point, but Kalen Veldman is there for the rebound. His first of the series ties it back up at three. And that would be all for the barrage of goals, but the start of some rough stuff as Nick Campbell accidentally pushes a Miners player into Trent Borischuk. That'll lead to a massive scrum after the play. Borischuk was shaken up, but he would laugh it off and stay in the game. Then minutes later, North Stars captain Matt Halushak absolutely clotheslines Jacob Lamoura with a violent hit to the head. Lamoura stayed down for a bit before being helped off the ice, while Halushak gets five in a game misconduct for his actions. The Miners could not convert on the major penalty though, and it stays 3-3 after two periods. But then, at the beginning of the third. E.J. Yeah! E. Paddington puts the North Stars in front just 19 seconds into the final frame, and that's all the North Stars would need to take a 2-0 lead in the series, as they beat Red Lake 4-3 the final.